All right, so as always, don't worry about getting the movements perfect. Just follow along the best you can. I'll be your mirror image. You can have a seat at any time. We'll begin with the feet together or as close as you can. The hands can come to the lower abdomen. Just taking a few deep breaths in and out. So we begin with the breath. Breathing in the belly expands. Breathing out the belly returns toward the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing with the diaphragm. Improving your breathing efficiency and overall function. Just taking a moment to really feel into the body. Just letting go of the worries from the day. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale just for a moment and then let it out with a big sigh. Just releasing tension and stress. The hands can float down by the sides. And as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as you gather in the energy, bring it into the heart, then send it down towards the earth, sinking the chi. Breathing in, breathing out. And as always, take as many breaths as you need. Just keep on breathing. One more time, sink the chi. And then step one foot out to the side, either foot. The arms float up in front. The arms float down, the knees and hips soften. Breathing in like mist rising from the lake. And then floating down as you breathe out like a gentle rain. Opening the door, starting the journey. Just taking your time. No rush, nowhere to go. Just being here now, rising up, softening down. One more time, open the door. This time the arms circle all the way in front, making two loose fists. The forearms come towards each other as you round the back, then reverse direction as the arms go out to the sides as you open the shoulders and chest. Breathing out as you round. Breathing in as you open. Spinal cord breathing. If you want to get the core involved, you can even squeeze the abdominals as you round and then release as you open. Activating the core, stimulating the energy, opening the shoulders and chest. Breathing out as you round, contracting the abdominals, and then release, like a good morning stretch. All right, one more time, spinal cord breathing. And then from here, the arms float out to the sides, they drift down, the palms face up, they float up to the heart, and then one hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting sky and earth. And then switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And then this time you can do a side bend if you like, just easing in nice and soft, never forcing it. One more time, connecting sky and earth. And the bottom hand comes up and then push to the corner, the other hand pushes behind. Coming back to center, push to the other corner, the dragon spreads wings. It's very gentle. Pushing to the corner one more time, spreading your wings. And then the back hand swings around as if it's gliding on the water. The other hand comes around, the dragon swings tail, making little ripples in the water. Sending little waves out into the distance one more time. Then the hands come together in prayer position. They float right across the eye level then across the heart, and then across the lower abdomen, the swimming dragon. The hands float back up for another round, drifting across up high, and then across the heart, and then just a little lower. And then release, round out, hugging the tree. Bring it to center and soften. And then from here, shift your weight over to one side as you draw the hands in, step the foot in as well. Then step out to the corner as you push forwards in space. Draw the hands back in, 
and then push back out. Pushing the mountain. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out. One more time. And then this time, we'll reverse direction, the hands float down. We'll pull up the weeds, contracting the abdominals once again, and then release. Coming down, weeding out the garden, <sighs> letting go. Once again, contracting the abdominals as you pull up, and then release. One more time, pulling up weeds. And then step the front foot back in the hands, come back in towards the heart, shift the weight, step in, step out to the other corner, pushing the mountain. Shifting the weight back as you breathe in, and then shifting forward as you breathe out. And once again, you can take as many breaths as you need. You can just breathe normal. Just getting familiar with the movements at first and then moving on from there. One more time, pushing the mountain. And then we'll reverse direction, the hands float down. Once again, pulling up the weeds, contracting the abdominals, building the core strength, and then letting go. Coming down, pulling up, and release. Breathing in. Breathing out one more time, pulling up the weeds. And then step the front foot back in, hug the tree, and soften. From here, both arms float over to the side, drifting down, and then floating up to shoulder height. Other side. It's a nice, gentle sway. The arms floating up, taking your time. And then this time, this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front, just to about eye level, and then down. And then again on the same side, just the arms at first. The hand comes out in front, the other hand by the hip, and down. This time you can lift your leg if you like, touching down as needed. The rooster stands on one leg, stepping down, and as always, you can keep your foot down or you can lift it up, meeting yourself where you're at. You can always go forward from there. One more time on this side, the rooster stands on one leg. And then the arms drift over to the other side, still breathing, taking your time. And then this hand here scoops down and comes right out in front to eye level and then down. Once again, same side, just the arms. Taking your time. The hand comes up in front, the other hand by the hip. <sighs> Breathing. This time you can lift your leg if you like, touching down as needed. The elbow over the thigh. Touching down or lifting up, letting go of judgment. Instead, bringing curiosity to your experience. One more time, the rooster stands on one leg. And then circle all the way around and hug the tree right out in front. And then step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the palms face each other right in front of the heart, sinking down. And then as you rise up, the hands separate slightly as you sink back down, the hands come together as you contract the abdominals. Breathing in, breathing out, like we're squeezing the moon. Rising up, contracting as you come down, building the core strength. Breathing out. One more time, squeezing the moon. And then release, round out, hug the tree, step one foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the hands turn one hand on top of the other, the bottom hand drops down, and then toss away. The hand waves into the center, and then press forward, 
right towards me. Other side, toss away, the hand waves in, and then moves forward, repulsing the monkey, calming the monkey mind. Breathing in and breathing out. You can even lean into it if you like. It's feeling the flow, nice and soft, almost effortless. One more time, repulsing the monkey. This time, both hands float all the way over to the side. They drift down, and once again, floating up to shoulder height. Other side. And then this time, the palms face away. The hands drift across the horizon, and then down. Floating up, drift across, like we're painting on the canvas. Nice gentle brush strokes with the hands. One more time, drift across. This time the arms float all the way up and over like a big wave. The chin circles, opening the shoulders, lubricating the joints, creating freedom of movement. One more time, the chin circles. And then reverse direction with the arms floating up to shoulder height, palms face away, and they drift across. Floating down, drifting up, floating across, painting on the canvas. One more time, breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. This time all the way up and over, the chin circles like a big wave. Just coming up as much as you can comfortably, just being kind to yourself. One more time. And then circle in front, hug the tree. And then from here, the arms open wide. Then this hand here scoops under, step in as you catch the moon, and then step out to the side. The bottom arm floats up until it's parallel with the earth. The other hand floats down. Circle it around again, warding off. Lifting and expanding. One more time, ward off. This time bottom hand scoops under, fingertips slide down, circle it around again, rolling back receiving the energy, going with the flow. One more time. This time we'll toss it away. The hands float out to the side. The hand folds in, pressing palm to palm. Shift the weight forward. Slide down, toss away, fold it in. Press forward one more time, the press. And then the hands separate, draw the hands in towards the heart, and push. Once again, pushing the mountain. Nice and easy, smooth, continuous flow. One more time. And then from here, sit back and open. Wipe across the horizon. Take your time as you step in, catch the moon. Step out to the other side, bottom arm floats up until it's parallel with the earth. Other hand floats down, then circle it around again, ward off. All right, one more time. This time bottom hand scoops under, fingertips slide down, circle it around, rolling back. Or sometimes called yielding, tuning in to the sensations we normally tune out. And then this time we'll toss it away. The hand folds in, palm to palm, shift forward. Slide down, toss away, fold it in, press forward. One more time, the press.
Then the hands separate, draw the hands in towards the heart, and then push. Nice and easy, nice and slow. And then one more time, just like the ocean, the tide rolls in, the tide rolls out. Then sit back and open, wipe across. We'll do each movement one time, grasping the bird's tail. Step in, catch the moon, step out, ward off. Roll back. Toss away. Press. Release. Draw in and push. Sit back and open, wipe across, other side. Grasping the bird's tail. Step in, catch the moon, step out, ward off. Roll back. Toss away, press, release, draw in, and push. Sit back, this time hug the tree, bring it to center. You can adjust the feet as needed. And then from here, the arms open wide, the hands float down by the sides as you step one foot in, coming on the ball of the foot. The arms float out to the sides like a beautiful bird the crane. This time you can lift your leg if you like, touching down as needed. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out, and then this time the arms can float up and over just as much as you can comfortably. And then stepping down, other side, just the arms at first, the crane. Breathing in, breathing out. This time lifting your leg if you like, you can always touch down. It's time the arms float up and over just as much as you can. And then stepping down. And then this time you can lift your leg right up, right away. And you can even hold it up as your arms go up and down. Once again, touch down if you need to. I promise I won't get mad. And it's okay to wobble. That's how we build the balance. And then stepping down, other side, one more round, the crane lifting right up if you want. Or you can always just keep your foot down, whatever helps you get into the flow. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out one more time, the crane. And then stepping down. The hands reverse direction, circle in front, hug the tree. Both arms float all the way over to the side and down. And then drifting side to side once again, and the arms can stay down low at first. It's really letting go of any tension, any stress. And then from here, making two loose fists. One fist goes overhead, the other by the lower abdomen. And then switching sides, leaning over to the side going up once again. This time you can lift your leg if you like or touching down is okay. Other side, the tiger hugs its head. Once again, touching down or lifting up. You can even look out to the side, breathing in, breathing out. One more time, the tiger hugs its head. Then the arms float all the way out to the sides, they drift down, they circle all the way in front, hugging the tree, step one foot out a little bit wider. Then from here, the palms meet each other in front of the heart in prayer position as you soften down. Then the fingertips guide the way out to the sides and then scooping around, going out the other side. The dragon pierces through. We're piercing through the clouds. Going side to side, gentle rotation. And then if you want, you can start to let the hands drift upwards towards the mountain peak. Or you can continue just to go side to side. And then maybe going down the mountain trail. Side to side, nice and easy, nice and slow. And then tuning into the body, letting the energy guide you. 
moving in any way that would feel good for you in this moment. Tuning into the body's wisdom that's there all along. Just still breathing, feeling the sensations. One more time, the spontaneous dragon. And then release, round out, hugging the tree, bring it to center. Step one foot in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms open wide, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand floats up and over, down the center line of the body, other side. Breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering, calming the heart. Calming the mind. One more time, centering. This time, both hands float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften, melting down. Then circle the hands in front as if you had a big ball in front of the body, scooping under, and then back up to the heart, and down. One more time, opening the heart, rising up, softening down. This time, making a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart, and then press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. And then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. And step your feet together or as close as you can. Close your eyes or keep a soft gaze, letting your body rock and sway very gently, like bamboo in the wind. It's feeling into the body, being present in the here and now. Noticing whatever arises and then watching it go. Feeling the body breathing. You don't have to do a thing. Just being here is enough. And then bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile. Expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes are closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. And we can finish with a bow. All right, if you like, you can stand in the same position. Maybe you can spread the feet a little wider if you like. Or you can have a seat. But really, once again, tuning into the body and then just finding a place where you can be comfortable and let the sounds of the Native American flute vibrate through your whole body. So I'll play a little melody for you now.
right, so really tune into your body now. Notice how you're feeling. And then type in the comments or the chat how you're feeling right now. <laughs>